A rusty barrel. I came about being in a submarine. Uh, it's inspired by Iron Lung. But you just saw the movie trailer for it, and I have no idea what to expect from it. The Rusty Barrel is an old deep sea submarine that specializes in collecting minerals from the ocean floor. The submarine has rather modest characteristics, it is slow, and has limited maneuverability. It's extremely difficult to work in narrow spaces. Your main task is to collect minerals from the ocean floor and deliver them to their destination. You will have to operate in narrow gorges at a depth of more than 4,000 meters. Be careful, as the submarine is fragile and leaks are possible. For such cases, you will have a repair tool. Good luck. None of that is how submarines work. None of it. If, if your submarine is leaking, uh, yeah, no, that's... I mean, unless it's, like, not very deep at all, uh, you're just kind of screwed. Hello. Oh, a goose. And the goose, goose honks. Now, this must be the repair tool. We got a fire extinguisher. Oh, look at this. Uh, I have no idea if it's if it's charged or if it's good. It's definitely not OSHA compliant. We'll just move on, though. All right. How do we make this work? Use WASD to move and uh, to exit, use E. 4,226 meters. Pretty deep. All right, well, we found ourselves it's definitely in a difficult area. All right, we get some fish. Oh, what kind of fish? Tasty fish. Well, that's a lot of fish. That was peculiar. I think I have found my first thing to mine. Wasn't even, wasn't even on it, but that's fine. More creepy looking fish. Okay, it feels like something hit it, but uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. Something about like the bottom of the ocean that is a really uh, terrifying scenario. I mean, at least this submarine is pretty well designed. I've I've run into like the walls about eight times now, and I I haven't exploded yet. So these fish are cool. It's like they're translucent. Yeah, that's super awesome. fix this. <laughs> Finally we started to fix this. It doesn't look like this actually like repairs like all the way. I wonder if um I wonder if I've kind of doomed myself. Like if I damaged the ship enough to where we're just moments away from being destroyed. Okay, well, could have been a rock slide, or an angry whale, probably an angry whale. I wonder if whales are angry, or if they're like more like just giant happy things like elephants. Ooh, I wonder if elephants, you know, they say like an elephant doesn't forget, so I wonder if whales forget, or if they remember forever. Reminds me of the uh, killer whale pod, wherever it was, that was uh, started to attack ships. It was kind of nuts because typically, you know, killer whales and humans have been like relatively friendly to each other. I don't know if that's like the right thing to say, but. Really, fish? What was this? Oh, look at that. It is a. I th think it's a whale? Yes. 
They're whales. I didn't want to. I was. I was being careful. Big whales that are just kind of like chilling. They're not really. They don't really seem to be going anywhere in, in particular. They just. They're just out for a stroll. Oh yeah, there's, there is, so the damage does kind of stick, it's only 19% damage. What's that? That's like a knock. Somebody knocking on the outside of my sub? What? This reminds me a little bit of a game called Narcosis, which is absolutely amazing. It's probably one of the uh, scariest underwater games, and it's... Oh, that's... Oh, sh Fire! Oh my god, we're gonna die. I just can't figure out how to make this work. Not cool, range creature. Ah. I can see this like the second time something's hit me. At this point, I would probably be like, yeah, it's time to kind of resurface to the, the top of the ocean. So these are all whale bones. Because I think I think whales aren't like angry creatures, aside from those killer whales uh, that are breaking all those boats. It's got to be something else. Could be a shark. I f think I've been turned around. Uh, yeah, I came this way from the whales. And whatever hit me like really messed up my ability to know exactly where I was. That's a really quaint looking game. It looks really nice. Uh, you know, the lighting is dark because it's the ocean, but it's I don't know, something about it feels really I don't know. Nice. Nice seems like an exaggeration because it's not, it's, I wouldn't say nice. I mean, but it's almost comforting. It's almost like I'm being surrounded by a nice comforting blanket. It doesn't sound weird, but I feel like I could probably take a nap here and <laughs> have a good time. Uh, uh oh. Alright, so you have to like click on it the right way and just push E and get out. And 26 damage, yeah, we're fine. That's like barely even damaged. It looks like there are at least two more things of like some kind of mineral that we're going after, so we just have to find it, which I believe is around this way. My cat currently has the zoomies. And uh now I'm like more on edge because she just keeps running running around all crazy like I'm hearing some new stuff I don't know what that is oh why am I going through like this crevasse seems like a terrible choice let's not do this let's now right, we're almost to it oh it's just a giant empty gap there's nothing there I should be right over it uh, oh, well, that's not good. I've lost power completely. What is that? Is that a moon? Oh. No, that is a fish. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like we're, we're doing too well right now. Rusty Barrel. 
Created by Kin Forest in center two hours for Ludum Dare 54. Mm, this was like a pretty, pretty cool experience. Uh, nicely, nicely made. Definitely has a creep factor. Not really scary, but creep factor for sure. Uh, the link to the itch page is in the description. So if you would like to try it, you can go do that. The game is free. And thanks for stopping by. I hope that... Uh, had a good time.